Zinc cerium batteries are a type of redox flow battery first developed by Plurion Inc. during the 2000s. In this rechargeable battery, both negative zinc and positive cerium electrolytes are circulated though an electrochemical flow reactor during the operation and stored in two separated reservoirs. Negative and positive electrolyte compartments in the electrochemical reactor are separated by a cation exchange membrane, usually nafin. The C, C and zinc, zinc redox reactions take place at the positive and negative electrodes, respectively. Since zinc is electroplated during charge at the negative electrode this system is classified as a hybrid flow battery. Unlike in zinc bromine and zinc chlorine redox flow batteries, no condensation device is needed to dissolve halogen gases. The reagents used in the zinc cerium system are considerably less expensive than those used in the vanadium flow battery. Due to the high standard electrode potentials of both zinc and cerium redox reactions in aqueous media, the open circuit cell voltage is as high as 2.43 V. Among the other proposed rechargeable aqueous flow battery systems, this system has the largest cell voltage and its power density per electrode area is second only to H2Br2 flow battery. Methanasulfonic acid is used as supporting electrolyte, as it allows high concentrations of both zinc and cerium. The solubility of the corresponding methanasulfonates is 2.1 m for zinc, 2.4 m for C and up to 1.0 m for C. Methanasulfonic acid is particularly well suited for industrial electrochemical applications and is considered to be a green alternative to other support electrolytes. Cell chemistry. At the negative electrode, zinc is electroplated and stripped on the carbon polymer electrodes during charge and discharge, respectively. Zinc 2 plus plus 2 E minus zinc at the positive electrode, C oxidation and C reduction take place during charge and discharge, respectively. CE3 plus minus E minus CE4 plus because of the large cell voltage, hydrogen and oxygen could evolve theoretically aside reactions during battery operation. The positive electrolyte is a solution of cerium methanase sulfonate. History and development the zinc cerium redox flow battery was first proposed by Clark and co-workers in 2004, which has been the core technology of Plurion Inc. In 2008, Plurion Inc. suffered a liquidity crisis and was under liquidation in 2010. However, the information of the experimental conditions and charge-discharge performance described in the early patents of Plurion Inc. are limited since the 2010s. The electrochemical properties and the characterization of a zinc cerium redox flow battery have been identified by the researchers of Southampton and Strathclyde Universities. During charge, discharge cycles at 50 mA cm-2, the coulombic and voltage efficiencies of the zinc cerium redox flow battery were reported to be 92 and 68 percent, respectively, in 2011. A membraneless zinc cerium system based on low acid concentration electrolyte using compressed pieces of carbon felt positive electrode was proposed. Discharge cell voltage and energy efficiency were reported to be approximately 2.1 V and 75%, respectively. With such undivided configuration, self-discharge was relatively slow at low concentrations of cerium and acid. Major installation of the zinc cerium redox flow battery was the greater than 2 kW testing facility in Glenrothes, Scotland, installed by Plurion Inc. The use of mixed acid electrolytes for the positive half cell has been investigated as a mean to increase the kinetics of the cerium redox reaction. In state key laboratory of rare earth resource utilization and the Jiangxi University of Science and Technology, China, platinum iridium coatings have shown the best performance as positive electrodes for the battery, while being less expensive than platinum electrodes.
charge discharge of the system has been preliminarily simulated. Research on mixed acids continues and it has been shown that low concentrations of hydrochloric acid can improve the electrochemical response of the cerium reaction, while nitric acid additions had negative results. Hierarchical porous carbon as the positive electrode has yielded better performance than carbon felt in laboratory scale experiments. The zinc electrode deposition on the negative electrode has been studied using a hull cell. Carbon PAPE has also been studied as an alternative material for the positive electrode. Graphene oxide graphite composites have shown some promise as a better catalytic electrode material for the reaction of cerium in the positive electrolyte. A similar cerium lead RFB has been proposed. Indium modified electrodes have been suggested as an alternative to conventional graphitis carbon as negative electrodes. The zinc CEE system has introduced the use of this acid to other flow batteries as a better alternative to sulfuric acid. The relationship between cell potential and current density has been estimated for a zinc CEE unit flow cell. This permitted to rationalize the contribution of the thermodynamic kinetic anomic components of the battery voltage and to assess the effect of increasing inter-electrode gap. The technology of the zinc CE battery has been recently reviewed.